Hi all, today we are going to discuss about the Einstein's coefficients. In the last video we have seen about the laces. In that we have discussed three types of process. Absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. There we defined the three constants known as Einstein's coefficients. A21, B12, B21. Where A21 corresponds to spontaneous emission, B12 corresponds to induced absorption and B21 that was stimulated emission. In absorption, when a photon of energy H2 is incident on a system with energy levels E1 and E2, having number of atoms per unit volume as N1 and N2, then an atom in the lower level is excited to the higher energy level by absorbing this photon. So that probability of this absorption will be depend upon the number of photons per unit volume. That is P12 is proportional to rho v where rho v is known as the photon density. So this P12 is equal to a constant into rho v. So that constant is known as I Einstein's coefficient of induced absorption. In spontaneous emission, an atom in the higher energy level will return back to the ground level by its own. During that emission, a photon is emitted. Since this emission of radiation takes place spontaneously, it is called spontaneous emission. And that probability of transition, we can write as P21 spontaneous, but it does not depend upon any external agency. So it is not proportional to any photon density. So it is equal to a constant. That constant is known as Einstein's coefficient of spontaneous emission A21. Now, in stimulated emission, an atom in the excited state, but this is returned back to the lower level when it is induced by an external photon. When an external photon is incident on the system, this excited atom returns back to the lower level. Then it gives two photons in the same frequency and same phase that is coherent laser is produced. So, this probability of stimulated emission, P21 stimulated, is proportional to the number of photons incident here that is it is proportional to photon density so p21 stimulated is equal to a constant into rho v that constant is known as einstein's coefficient of stimulated emission b21 so a corresponds to spontaneous emission and b corresponds to stimulated emission now we can see how these einstein's coefficients are related for that we can consider thermal equilibrium. In thermal equilibrium, the number of transition from E1 to E2 is equal to the number of transition from E2 to E1. That is, the number of transition from E1 to E2 that depends upon the number of atoms in the lower energy level and this probability of transition P12. So here the number of transition from E1 to E2 is number of atoms in the lower level into probability of that absorption that is P12. Now the number of transition from E2 to E1 that will depend upon the number of atoms per unit volume in the higher energy level N2 and the probability of transition P21. While considering this P21 we have two process here spontaneous and stimulated. So we have to consider the effect of both the emission spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. Now we can substitute the expression for this probability of transition that is here N1 into P12. P12 is B12 into rho V is equal to N2 into P21 where P21 is P21 spontaneous and P21 stimulated. P21 spontaneous is A21 plus P21 stimulated is B21 rho V. Where B12, A21, B21 are Einstein's coefficients and rho V is the photon density. Now we can take this rho V on one side. So we will get it as rho V into N1 B12 minus here rho V term is N2 B21 is equal to N2 A21. 
So we can write rho V as equal to N2A21 divided by this term. That is N2A21 divided by N1B12 minus N2B21. Now we can divide both the numerator and denominator by B12 N2. Then we will get rho V is equal to on dividing N2A21 by B12 N2. The numerator becomes A21 by B12 divided by here N1 B12 divided by B12 N2. So B12 B12 will cancel and we will get here as N1 by N2 minus N2 B21 by B12 N2 that is B21 by B12. Here we have a N1 by N2 term. To change that we can apply Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law. According to Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution law, number of atoms in an energy level is proportional to exponential of minus E by kT. E corresponding to the energy of that level. K is Boltzmann constant and T is the temperature. Then this N1 by N2 that is the number of atoms in the energy level E1 uh, to the number of atoms in the energy level E2 becomes E raised to here it is minus E1 by kT divided by E raised to minus E2 by kT. So on taking this uh, minus ET to the numerator we will get it as E raised to E2 minus E1 by kT. So N1 by N2 is equal to exponential of E2 minus E1 by kT. So we can substitute that expression here. So we will get to the photon density as rho V is equal to A21 divided by B12 divided by N1 by N2 is E raised to E2 minus E1. What is this E2 minus E1? That is the energy difference that we can write as H nu. So E raised to E h nu by kt minus b21 by b12. Now we have discussed all these under thermal equilibrium. To maintain thermal equilibrium, a system must emit electromagnetic radiations. This radiation is identical with the black body radiations. So we can apply the Planck's law here. According to Planck's radiation law, rho v is equal to 8 pi h nu q by c cube into 1 by e raised to h nu by kt minus 1. Here, nu is the frequency of radiation, c is the speed of light. The expression we got for the photon density rho v using the Einstein's coefficients, we can compare with this Planck's radiation law. What is this expression for rho v? That is A21 divided by B12 into 1 by E raised to H nu by kT minus B21 by B12. On comparing both of these equations, we can see that here 1 divided by e raised to h nu by kt is same. And this 1 here corresponds to the b21 by b12. Also this a21 by b12 is corresponding to this 8 by h nu q by c cube. That is b21 by b12 is equal to 1. And this A21 by B12 is equal to 8 pi H nu cube by C cube. That is B21 is equal to B12. So these two expressions are known as Einstein's relation. So first relation is B21 equal to B12. B12 corresponding to absorption and B21 corresponds to stimulated emission. That is the coefficient of absorption is numerically equal to the coefficient of stimulated emission. In the second Einstein relation A21 by B12 or A21 by B21 because B12 is equal to B21. So the ratio of a spontaneous emission to the stimulated emission is equal to 8 pi h nu cube by c cube. That is the ratio spontaneous to stimulated process is directly proportional to the cube of the frequency of radiation. 
that is as the frequency increases this spontaneous to stimulated coefficient ratio will increase that is at a higher frequency the spontaneous emission dominates over stimulated emission therefore it is difficult to obtain the stimulated emission at a higher frequencies so that's all about the einstein's coefficients there are three types of einstein's coefficients a21 b12 b21 and these einstein's coefficients are related by these two experiments.